His Excellency, Engineer David Wese Omahi, has redefined the concept of farming in a Boyan state. A Boyans no longer see farming as business of the old. The first governor in Nigeria to introduce road construction with concrete pavement of 8 inches, which he did over 300 kilometer roads, first of its kind in Nigeria. The governor of the state that built the biggest ecumenical center ever built by any government in Nigeria, with main bowl of 5,000 capacity, about 2,000 capacity smaller bowl, with modern lift escalators and offices and accommodation. The governor of the state that built the longest and most aesthetic flyovers in the southeast with three number of such having a total of 96 span built in three years and has commenced another construction of eight flyovers in strategic junctions and major highways of the three senatorial zones. The first governor in Nigeria to build a glass bridge tunnel with 16 spans with aesthetic lights that shines in the night. The governor of a state with street lights that shine 12 hours daily, performing optimally at the state capital and also in each of the 13 local government areas. The governor of the state with the smoothest road network in Nigeria. The governor of the state with the biggest rice mills in Nigeria and biggest rice milling cluster in West Africa with a total of 24 metric tons per hour for government-owned rice mills and over 1,500 milling clusters for cooperatives. The governor of the state with the biggest fertilizer company in the southeast and south-south. The governor of the state that built the most amazing and sustainable fountain in the southeast seven in number at strategic locations. The first governor in Nigeria to procure land development equipment, 13 V8 bulldozer for land development and agricultural mechanization. The governor of the state with the best stadium ever built by a recent state administration in the southeast and has ambition to construct one of the best in Nigeria. The only governor in the southeast to secure approval from the federal government to build airport under the Buhari administration. The only governor in Nigeria that pays workers' salaries 15 days to the end of the month. He is not owing a fadden. The governor of the state with the biggest mushroom farm in Nigeria. The first governor in Nigeria to introduce one man, one hectare agricultural policy for public office holders, civil servants, and farmers who participate in the state government agricultural programs. The governor of the state, with the highest number of state executive council members and appointees in the federation, with executive council of about 90, while other appointees are over 3, the governor of the state that is constructing the biggest shopping mall ever built by any democratic government in Africa and slated to be the microcosm of the macrocosm of the Dubai Mall. The governor of the state with the highest empowerment profile in Nigeria with over 4,000 widows receiving 100,000 Naira grants, 3,000 youths and women receiving 750,000 Naira grants. 400 tricycle grants to youths and women, 520 Eboyans in Lagos State receiving 130 million Naira grant, 5,008 clergy and pastors receiving 5.8 million Naira grant, 403 wives of security agencies receiving 80 million 600,000 Naira, all to go into entrepreneurial program. The governor of the state with the lowest insecurity profile and crime rates in Nigeria. The governor of the state that has the local government area out of the 774 that was adjudged by NUC as having the highest number of undergraduates admitted into the university system in 2017. The governor of the state with the biggest state pulverization machine in Nigeria. 
with 200 empty tons capacity per day. The governor of the state, with the biggest and best Lassa fever and virology center in the country, and the only one in the southeast and most medically equipped VVF center in the southeast. The governor of the state, with the biggest single international market in the southeast. The governor of the state, with the neatest and most beautiful capital city in Nigeria. The governor of a state, with the most effective aesthetic roundabout with fountains in Nigeria. The governor of the state, with the fastest growing economy in the southeast. The governor of the state, with the highest number of electronic lead in the southeast. Through the family sucker and upliftment program of his wife, Her Excellency, Chief Mrs. Rachel Ogonna Omahi, the governor has given over 40% affirmative action to the female folks. All of these achievements are made possible because Engineer Omahi came through Divine Mandate Platform and like the David of the Bible, he makes praise, worship and prayer the official hobby and spiritual anchor of his administration.